Hello. Welcome into my workshop and welcome to the show Creations of Clay. My name is Louis Palladini and tonight I'd like to do another favorite that everyone has. I want to do a penguin and I want to show you how to do that from start to finish. Uh, penguins are great animals. I mean, the way they can glide under the water, it's like flying through the air except they're underwater. And I will show you how to do that. I want to show you the types of clay that you can use. There's an oil-based clay such as this, which never hardens. This is the one I always used to use when I was a little kid. I loved it because I make the sculptures and then when I get tired of them, I just make new ones. Another type of clay that you can use that can be bought in any art store is an air hardening clay such as this, which can be well, which will harden like in two hours or overnight, and then you can paint it so you'd have a permanent sculpture. My preference for the clay is a clay called Super Sculpey, which can be baked in the oven about 275 degrees for about 15 or 20 minutes. You can drill it, sand it. You can make a tremendous amount of detail, and that's why I love it. The size balls of clay that we'll be using tonight, I'll show you. We're going to be using this size ball of clay here for the base. And it's, it's going to be like the snow base. The other size balls of clay that we'll be using are these two right here, which are, this is what we're going, to, we're going to make the wings or the flippers on the side. And then these two balls, we've got two balls of clay here that are in front that I'm holding right here. Those will be used for the feet. And then this little ball of clay here will, that you see here, I'll, We'll hold it so you can see it a little better. That's going to be used for the beak. And then for the body, we are going to be using this size ball of clay right here. I'll show you. The first thing that we want to make is the base. And I'll show you, which is this right here. You see this nice little white base that the penguin is standing on? And we're going to make that little snow base. And I'll show you how we're going to do that. We're going to take this ball of clay here. And I'm going to take and just ply at my fingers like this just like this, and just kind of work it like that. See how we're doing that? Make it nice and flat. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to put it in, and I'm going to tap it on the table. See this? And then I just, I just take my finger. See how I'm just pushing down on that? Just like that. Just going to push like that. It's nice because now we got this nice flat base on this side, but on the other side, I'm going to show you, we want to make some texture. So one of the things we'll be using tonight is tin foil, which can be bought, you know, in any uh, supermarket or, you know, stores like that. And you crumble it up. And then what we do is we're going to take, and I'm going to push down like that. See that? That's going to give it the nice snow-like texture, just like that. And I'm just going to go all the way around. See that? You can use both hands. And now, as you can see, see that really nice texture that was made with the tin foil? It's really nice, and that will it looks just like the snow. So we're going to proceed to make the next part, which is going to be the body, which will be this piece right here. I'll show you. We're going to be making this piece here, the head, down to the tail. And I'll show you how to do that. I'm going to take this ball of clay right here, and I'm going to take it and lengthen it out a little bit. Let's see, I'm going to squeeze this in. It's almost like a potato shape right now. What we're going to do is I'm going to take, and see how this, I'm just kind of trying to make this round up here, because this is going to be the head. So I'm just going to take and try to make that round shape, and see I'm kind of pulling on this too to pull it out? Just take the, your fingers like that, and just pull it out like that. And then what I want to do is I want to make a little small tail it, on the penguin. See that how I'm doing that? I'm taking a make almost making like a little point. And that's when you can see it from the side. So what I want to do is just kind of work it like that. 
and just want to make sure that the shape, just kind of apply it in your hands like I am. And one of the things I want to do is I want to smooth them out a little bit. So I'm going to take my thumb, see that? Just take and make them a little smoother. That way. Because they're very, uh, when they get in the water, you know, instead of being aerodynamic like a bird, they're they, under the water, they're nice and smooth so they can glide right through the water very quickly. So we got that. Just like that. Now, we got the shape that we want. See how I made the, the head up here, or the shape of the head? This will be the body, and then that'll be the tail. And what I also want to do is I want to take and tap this on the table now, right here. I want to take and just tap it on the table like this. See how I'm doing that? That way... When we, we put it on the base, you kind of want to flatten it on the bottom like that. See how I'm doing that? We're going to do it a few more times. Just like that. So the next thing that we want to work on is we want to make the feet. And I'll show you how to do that. The feet, which are right here. See how they're painted orange? They got like three little toes on each foot. I'll show you how to make that shape. We're going to proceed to do that. So we're going to take this ball of clay here, and you want to take and flatten it out like this between your fingers. See how we're, we're flattening this out? Just flatten it out. See how I did that? And the shape that you want is this shape right here. The next thing that we're going to do is I'm going to take and I'm going to make the toes. So I'm going to see how this, I'm going to take this, pinch it between my fingers, just like that. See how I just made that? Pulled it out. We're going to do the same thing here, and I'm going to pull out another toe. Just kind of take and pull. See how I'm doing that? And then we're going to make the third toe. Just taking it, you pull it out. What we're going to do is, I'll show you the shape that we want. See that? There's the little foot. We'll make, take the ball of clay and we'll make a, a second one. So, like I said, you make the flatten this out like this. We'll make that basic shape just like that. And then we're going to make those toes again. See, I'm just kind of pulling on that. See how just between my thumb and finger, see how I pull that out nicely? Now we're going to make the other two do the same exact thing. Just like that. And then we're going to make the third toe. Just going to pull it out like this. Mold it between your finger and thumb. And just want to make sure you get that in a pretty decent shape. Now you can see that. So it looked like from the top. That's what it looked like from the side. So the next step in the process that we want to do is I want to attach these to the bottom of the, the penguin. So see this here? I'm going to take and push those into the... See how I'm pushing those into the bottom? Just like that. And then we'll proceed to do the second one. See, I'm placing that on the bottom. And then right there. See how we did that? 
See, and then take your finger and just press that in like that. Just like that. See how we did that? Just push it in like that. And now you can see the two feet that we had made. Pretty cool. Very simple, very basic. The next thing that I want to do is I want to attach him to the base. So what we're going to do is take the base here, and we're going to take our penguin, and we're going to push him down into it like this. See how I'm doing that? Just kind of take and push him down, just like that. And we'll kind of push the feet down a little bit too. See how we did that? Then the next thing that we want to do, now we've, we've I'm going to smooth it out a little more. Again, just going to take your fingers and kind of go over it. Make it, want to make, keep it smooth. The next thing that I want to do is I want to make the beak. And I'll show you an example. See this orange beak right here? We're going to make that, that right there right now. And I'll show you how to do that. I want to take this, take it and take, and you want to make it into almost like a point. See how I'm doing this? I'm pulling this out. See that? And then we're going to make the shape of the beak. You, almost, you want to have a little point at the end like this. See how I'm doing that? Just like that. And that's what it should look like. See, I made that nice little point, and you curve it down. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take this and attach it to the penguin. So I'm going to take this here, and I'm going to attach it right about here. So I'm going to flip this around. So you just kind of work it in from all sides. What I'll probably do is take a toothpick which can be bought like in a supermarket or a drugstore. And then when I take this, see how I'm doing this here? Take and just take that and push it up against the head. And we'll do it from the other side also. And then you want to get the underside. See I'm doing the underside there? Just, just like that. So we got that attached now. And the next thing that we want to do is we want to make the flippers or wings. See these two flippers here? We want to make these, which are white right here. And I'll show you how to do that. We're going to take this ball of clay here, and we're going to make into the shape of the flipper. So see how we take and flatten it out? But then I also want to take my fingers and go from the finger and thumb from the side See, I'm kind of shaping that into the shape of the flipper, like that. You want to do that. So we got that. And we'll just keep working, making that shape. Flatten it out. Just want to make sure we got the right shape. See how we're doing this? That's the shape that you want. And I'll just, I'll just flatten it out a little more. And just, like, just like that. And then what I want to do is I want to make another one for the other side. This will be the right side. I'm going to pick this piece of clay up here. And we'll do the exact same thing. See how we flatten it out again between our fingers and finger and thumb. And then, you, you, then from the side, see I'm creating that shape of the flipper. So flatten it out like this. But then you also want to start to create that shape of the flipper like this. So we just keep working it, flattening it out. And just like that. Now what I want to do is I want to compare it to the other one. I want to make sure they're approximately the same size. See how they're approximately the same size? 
What I want to do now is I want to attach them to the body. So what we're going to do is I just kind of maybe work this a little bit, see if I can make them a little bit taller. See this is what I'm doing now, just kind of squeezing them. I just want to make sure everything's okay. So what I'm going to do is take this flipper here. See how we're just going to attach it to the back right here? See how I just kind of push that in like that? So you're just going to take and work it like that. See how we're doing that? Just take that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other side. Let me put this down. I just want to make sure it's about right. And I'm going to take and put that, see like that? Just take and work it in like that. Just kind of work it. And then what we want to do is we want to work it from the front also. So I want to make sure everything looks all right. We can take this toothpick. See how I'm taking this? And kind of push it up and attach it from this side also. That way it doesn't come off. Just taking, and then I'm going to go to the other side and do the exact same thing. Just like that. See how we're just taking working that up against the side of the penguin. So now, now that we have that almost done, what I want to do is make the eyes. So we're going to take this toothpick right here. It's, you know, double-sided with a point. And then I'm going to take and make the eye right about here. Just kind of Rotate the toothpick like that. See how we get the nice eye? And then I'll proceed to do that on the same. So I want to make sure it's in line. And make it in the. And then see how we did that? I want to put that in there like that. Take that. Work that, that toothpick round and round to make the eye. So now I want to make sure they're approximately the same size. So look at both sides. And that's how we do the penguin. That is now ready for baking. And now what we'll proceed to do is fire in the oven so we can paint it. And now that we've fired the penguin in the oven, it is now ready to paint. I'll show you what colors of paint that we'll use to paint the penguin. These are acrylic paints which can be bought in the art store. And there's 18 in this package. And we're going to be using the following colors. We're going to be using orange for the feet and the beak, black for the body. We're going to be using white for the body and the snow. And then we're going to be using yellow for the side of the head. And it looks like that about covers it. So I, I want to put these paints aside now, the ones we don't need. And then I'll show you the size brushes that we want to use. I like this size brush here for the body because it's, it's a wide brush, but not too wide. Then for the eyes, I usually like this size brush right here. It's very fine. And then for the the feet and the beak, I think we'll use this one here. And then, you know, I'll just grab another additional brush that we might use. So we have about four brushes here. And now I'll show you the first thing that we want to paint is the orange feet. 
which you can see right here. We're going to do the feet, the beak, and the two eyes. And we're going to do the beak. See this here? Just going to take and just back and forth. Just going to take that. I'm going to flip it upside down so I can get the bottom of it. And then we'll get it from the other side. Just like that. Same thing, back and forth. The next thing that I want to do is I want to do the feet, which are right here. Just going to take, do the feet. Just take and show you from the side, just kind of do that. See how we did that? And I'll show you we'll do the other side the same way. I'll show you that. See how we got that. Hey, don't worry if you get some of the, the orange paint on the body or the area where we're going to paint the snow, because you can always touch it up. So we did that. And then the next thing that I want to do is I want to do the, the eyes. So we'll use the small brush for that. And what we're going to do is take this, put it in like that, we just did the eye like that, and we'll do the same thing on the other side. I'll push this in like this. See how nicely that was done? I just want to touch that up a little bit. So the next thing that we want to do is I also want to do the side of the head in the yellow. So I'll use the, the brush that I use for the eyes because it's a very small brush. And they can do a lot more detail with it. So I'm going to put it right here, like that. Just make that kind of shape like that. And then I want to proceed to do the same thing on the other side. So I'll go, I want to make sure I'm putting it in approximately the same location. So See how we're doing that? Just like that. See how we did that? Nicely done. I'll show you. See this here? We can do the, the base like that and see that? It's going to go back and forth to create that snow. Do you see how I'm doing that? And then what I want to do is get it, kind of sneak it up there in the center. And if you get some on the feet, we can always touch it up again afterward. So just kind of paint it white like that. Just like that. I won't paint the entire base, but another thing you want to do too is paint the, the white flippers here. See how I'm painting those? Just like that. And then we do the same on this side. And then we want to paint the, the belly white. See how we're painting that? Now, just like that, add a little more white there. And that's basically the shape that you want for the front, for the white. See how we did that? And then the next thing that we want to do is we want to paint the penguin black. Now we're going to paint a nice black body. See this here? 
I'll flip them around. So we can see, see how we're doing the, the black? Just like this. Gives it a really nice effect, see that? Then you probably paint the underside. And then just go back and forth like this. See how we do that with the, the black body? You can start from the top of the head and work our way down. You go back and forth. See how we're doing that? It really looks nice now that we're putting the black paint on there. It's starting to really look like a penguin. And I'll show you exactly the way it should look once it's completely painted. I'll put him down over here. This is the final version of the penguin, right here. See how we painted the feet orange? We painted the beak orange, the orange eye, the yellow on the side of the head, on both sides, see that? And then, you know, you see all the nice white belly, the white snow, and then you see the black, the nice black that and that is what the penguin should look once it's completed. And I do want to thank you for coming to the show, Creations in Clay. And I do look forward to seeing you again next week. Goodbye for now.